I told him to take down his Instagram, give him another chance to do it on his own. And he responded with laughing emojis saying, laugh out loud. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love you, but you will not take me for granted. You see that car? This is my car. I'm out. She's How about taking that? your car apart. My car. Michael. Come on, Michael. Oh boy, here we go. Angela is in Nigeria. She's angry and she's ready for confrontation. How dare Michael send her a laughing emoji? Has he never tried putting his feet in her single solitary shoe? I don't respect nobody. Put your feet in my shoe. Would you like it if someone didn't protect you that you married and put your whole life ahead that you're getting older, gonna die earlier than this man? Ah yes, the emotional ramblings of a drunk person. So we join Angela and Michael in this episode as Michael is attempting to overcome his fear of water. I've never had any swimming lesson before. I'm scared of water. The last time I was at the pool, I was 26 years old. No, I almost drowned. This Michael that you see before you is a changed man. For the first time in nearly a decade, he's willing to confront his fear of water and similarly confront his fear of his wife. You know, Angela is very hard at days and she's always be in control of everything. I need my opinion to be, to be counted, you know? I want to have a, a life, a social life, be happy. I mean, this is what most people want in their life. Now, while he says that he does still love his wife, it sounds like he's losing faith in the marriage. Having not seen Angela for two years due to COVID, it seems like the control that she once had over him is diminishing. At this point, it's pretty high possibility that our relationship gonna survive because Angela wants to control everything. He's not willing to be her little lap dog anymore and he's not willing to listen to all of her rules. So basically, Angela expected of me to be at home and also not to associate myself with friends because she sees them as bad influence to me. Michael reveals that Angela has instructed him not to get a job. Up until this point, he's been willing to comply because Angela has been paying him. But, claims Michael, recently, the money's been running dry. Past some months now, she hasn't sent me enough money. She told me not to not to work, stay at home till my visa comes out. So now that his pocket money has been restricted, poor little Michael explains that he has no option but to disobey Angela and get himself a job. <laughs> and I'm using that term very loosely. I need to, you know, make extra money for myself. So I'm bringing back my, my, my social media. Choose social media to make money because here in Nigeria, most people, they influence for products, for companies, and it gets well paid. But Angela does not like me to be on Instagram because she thinks I'm flirting with women. What a world we live in, hey? <laughs> Where you can prance around like that with zero skill or talent and still somehow get paid. Now, while most supportive wives would urge their husbands to milk this opportunity for every cent possible, just like she's been doing herself, Angela sees this as disobedience. Her husband, her puppy dog, is no longer listening to her and he must be put back into line. Angela started telling me, take down my social media. Are you serious? But I'm not taking it down. With Mike's refusal to comply ringing in her ears, Angela decides to show up unannounced to Nigeria. Nigeria, baby. Nigeria, bye bye. I've been to Nigeria six times now, and this trip is different because Michael doesn't know I'm here. Now, keep in mind, there's two sides to every story. Angela wants us to believe Mike is blackmailing her. He wants money in order to take down his Instagram. Mike is presenting himself as just trying to earn a living because Angela has stopped paying him. In all likelihood, the truth probably lies somewhere in between. But I think this whole Instagram issue is just symptomatic of a much wider problem. It's not just the Instagram that's the issue. It's the fact that Mike is no longer listening to everything Angela says. For someone as insecure as Angela, that's a big problem. So she'll either need him to fall back into line or she'll have no option but to end the marriage. I wish 
I was landing in Nigeria to have a romantic getaway with my husband, to give him hugs, kisses. But the reality is, this could be the end of our marriage if Michael doesn't clean up his act. This is not how I planned my future with Michael. Accompanying Angela in Nigeria is her new friend Renee. She's apparently there for moral support. But from the very first seconds that they've stepped foot on Nigerian soil, Angela is already riled up. She's come looking for a fight. And when she's in this kind of mood, there's very little Renee or anyone else can do to stop her. We've been through some stuff and Renee really has my best interests at heart. Renee don't sugarcoat for me. That's what I love her for. That I need somebody to keep me grounded and keep me out of Nigeria jail. <laughs> Now, I don't know Renee, so I'm in no position to comment on the strength of her friendship with Angela. But I do find it sad how Angela has totally fallen out with her former best friend and sissy, as she used to call her, Jojo. This was a lady who seemed to go over and above for Angela. She's been helping me to the bathroom. Might sound gross, but she's been wi wiping my coochie. To make it sound like Jojo never had her back is kind of disrespectful. And I don't think it's a coincidence that even those closest to Angela, those that know her best, seem to, one by one, be falling out with her. Now, if you haven't seen my video that goes into all of the reasons why Angela and Jojo fell out, then I'll include a link to that video in my description below. But getting back to this episode, Angela has come with a plan. She intends to catch Michael off guard. My plan is to go surprise Michael tomorrow at his house. Because if he's hiding anything from me, I don't want him to be able to fix it before I get there. He better be legit or hell has no fury. But we soon have a change of plan. Initially, Angela had been planning to surprise Michael the next morning, but Michael's response to Angela's ultimatum has triggered her. She's ready to go and confront him immediately, regardless of the jet lag, the alcohol, and the time. I told him to take down his Instagram, give him another chance to do it on his own, and he responded with laughing emojis saying, laugh out loud. What's so funny about someone's pain? Come on, Angie, stop being such a hypocrite. This act that she's putting on, that Michael having Instagram is causing her pain, comes from a place of fear. She puts on this tough exterior, but deep down, she's very, very insecure. Hence why she demands to be in control. The instant that New Look Mike doesn't cave into her demands, her insecurities and fears begin to surface. You know how that makes me feel? That he doesn't care about me. Like, who does something like this to their wife? I'll tell you who does. Someone that's not in it for love. A scammer. So off Renee and Angela go, each with drinks in hand. Smoking away in the back of the taxi, Angela begins to work herself into a frenzy. You're making fun of my pain? Cannot believe this this puts me through. Now, I'm not saying it's just the alcohol, but I think it plays a part. Against her friend's judgment, You're not calling him, are you? Shush, shush, shush. She calls Michael and starts an argument. I'm gonna show you I ain't playing with you no more. See, one thing you don't know about me, Michael, you can't manipulate a woman that's strong and been strong all of her life. Whatever. Bitch. Charming. What a lovely way to speak to your husband. Renee, who was meant to be there to keep her out of trouble, keep her grounded, is unable to control Angela's rage. And to be honest, she looks like she's enjoying it. Angela, you are kind of, you know, stirring the pot with them a little bit. I'm going to stir it. I'm getting ready to see a man I ain't seen in two years that's talking to me, and I don't take from no one. Renee's attempt at telling Angela to calm down, reining her in a little bit, just gets shot down, like Angela always does. Angela is loud, she's controlling, and she isn't afraid of confrontation. By contrast, up until this point, Mike has been weak. He's been a doormat. And for all of his bravado about how he's a new man, when an angry Angela starts banging on his front door, scared little Mike refuses to come out. Michael! He's scared. Michael, why don't you just come out? She just wants to talk. Come out. <laughs> Are you 
dinner. Is Michael at home? Is he busy deleting incriminating messages? Is he sleeping? Like, we just don't know. Maybe he is guilty. Maybe he has been flirting with other women. But by going in like a bull in a china shop, Angela's not gonna get anywhere. What's she hoping to achieve by banging on the door like she's the police? She's come with her mind already made up, confrontational from the get-go, talking to him in a belittling way, in the middle of the night, fueled by alcohol, and it's not gonna end well. I don't respect nobody. Put your feet in my shoes. Would you like it if someone didn't protect you that you married and put your whole life ahead that you're getting older, gonna die earlier than this man, and he's got his whole life ahead of him? You put your life on pause? That rambling right there, that to me sounds like the real reason she's here. The real problem isn't Michael's Instagram, it's Angela's fear. She's worried she's wasting her valuable years on a man who may never make it to the States, or if he finally does, may not even listen to her. In her mind, he's got his whole life ahead of him, whereas her time is running out. That's a sad way to look at things, but it does help to explain why her fear has spilled over into anger. I'm out! She's How about taking that? your car apart! My car! Michael! Come on, Michael! I paid for this car, bitch! Tell him I'll break the windows next! What do you think? Is there any hope for this marriage? Have both already checked out? Or will Mike revert to type, delete his Instagram, and go back to doing everything Angela says?